Okay, I showed you in the previous video how to pull up a syllabus on Blackboard. And so I want to call your attention to my office, which is ATC T230. Um, that's the doorway right next door to our um, micro classroom um, in T231. Uh, uh, um, it's best to reach me by email. Um, and it's, uh, although you have office hours, I'm often away in meetings. So I strongly recommend that you email and uh, make an appointment if you want to be sure to catch me in. Uh, I think everybody understands the prerequisites. You couldn't have gotten it this far if you hadn't met the prerequisites. Our course textbook is Microbiology, a Systems Approach by Cowan. Uh, the fourth edition is out now, and it's really the best and most complete. If you want to use an earlier edition, uh, many students have been successful. I uh, will come with a caveat that the um, uh, second edition and the first have uh, significant, uh, significantly less material at the end of the book. And there are some errors in there that uh, have been corrected in the later ones. Uh, some people have gotten by fine with the international editions, and, and that's certainly okay. But again, uh, this is a required textbook, and I do urge you to um, uh, get it as, as soon as possible. So uh, course goals are pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, we're trying to teach um, microbiology. Uh, you can teach it from a lot of different perspectives. We teach it from a medical perspective. Uh, my background actually started in marine biology, and you can teach microbiology from a marine perspective. You can teach it from um, an industrial perspective. There's a lot of different ways to do it. We just choose medical because so many people are in the medical profession. As I mentioned, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, tests and grading in a separate um, uh, blurb. As far as makeups, um, I prefer not to give them. Um, I don't give extra credit points at all. Uh, for makeup tests, I do not let I do not make makeup quizzes at all. Uh, you have six days from the time that those first posts to complete. Uh, that should be enough time for everybody. Um, never had a problem in the past with somebody not finding time in six days to do that. But um, uh, the other assignments are due when they're due. Uh, for, we have a paper that's due and some other things, and I don't extend those times. Um, if you do miss an exam, uh, valid excuses can include accidents, health issues, uh, work conflicts, obviously um, uh, military service um, uh, or worth the guard. Uh, but I do have to see the paperwork on that. And I have to uh, you have a, a true doctor's excuse, not a counter stamp by a nurse, but an actual doctor's excuse and in, in excuse indicating that they have seen you for a particular um, uh, disease or emergency. Um, I don't do online makeup quizzes as I've mentioned. Okay, so academic dishonesty. Um, the biggest problem we have is on the quizzes, and that is somebody, you know, getting the quiz answers from another student after they've taken the exam, or taken it from from a, a previous student um, in a previous an earlier class. Uh, I that is not just frowned upon. That of course is academic dishonesty. If I find out that you've done it, I have to um, uh, uh, punish both you and the person who gave you the uh, material if I can, and I, I certainly will try. So um, it's best to do your own work. Um, the information in there is critical and important. Those of you who are going on and working in the medical profession, you really should know how diseases propagate and um, how to prevent them. And that's really what microbiology, at least this microbiology class, is all about. Uh, succeeding, well, the best way to succeed is to come to class prepared. Uh, the biggest reason that people don't succeed is they don't come to class and they don't come to class having right. They attempt to cram a night or day or two before the exam and that's there's just way too much material to do that. So if you want to succeed in this class, you have to keep up with the reading. You have to keep up with the work. The best way to do that is to come into class because I'd like to drop hints during my lectures about what's going to be on the, on the uh, test. Rather than give you a sheet that you just have to study for, um, I prefer to drop hints as we go along. Outside study. Okay, this is a hybrid class, and that means we're only going to meet uh, three to four hours a week, which since there's six contact hours, that means you only at two to four hours outside of class. Now, if you're um, somebody who needs a lot more time on definitions, or if there's some concept there that you're not familiar with, it could take you longer. Okay, but two to three hours is the minimum outside study. Of course, there's online work required and there's online quizzes, as I've already mentioned. Attendance. Um, timely attendance is required, and that means you have to be in your seat at 8.30 or 5.30 or wherever uh, the class starts. Um, uh, that includes traffic. Uh, you know, if, if you try to use the traffic excuse, you can use it once. The next time you, you try to use it, 
uh, I'm going to just point out that uh, your 15 minute drive is probably really a 25 minute drive and you've just miscalculated. Uh, I understand, you know, somebody has a crash and, and uh, you get stuck. If you come in a few minutes late and you're unobtrusive about it, you quietly enter the back and you don't bother the other students and you don't interrupt my lecture, um, I'll, I'm likely to forgive it. Um, if you come in, if you're one of these people that comes in and has to uh, create a scene, well, then uh, we'll probably have to stop the class and, and, and discuss that with you. So I expect uh, tardiness, I expect people to be in their seat on time at 8.30. Um, tardiness is considered to be an absence. I take the role once at the beginning of class, unless otherwise stated, and that's it. You can't come up to me afterwards and say, oh, I really came in late and uh, I've been here all along, so uh, please count me in. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to pay, uh, I'm not going to give that um, any uh, merit, sorry. Food drink com devices. Uh, this is a laboratory. Uh, we, we work with microorganisms, uh, so you cannot uh, have food or drink in the laboratory. Okay, com devices, um, no, you can't be using your cell phone during class, during lecture. Uh, I'll actually have to take your exam away if I catch you using it during the exam. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm very firm on this. If I catch anybody using a, um, a, a cell phone during their exam, a smartphone or any kind of phone um, during the exam, uh, they get a zero. In a laboratory, our emphasis is on safety. Um, so protective apparel is required. As I've already mentioned uh, uh, before in, in the um, uh, announcements, uh, you must wear closed-toed shoes in order to be admitted to the laboratory. Um, if you want to contact me about a question about the book, I prefer that you do that in the discussion board. Uh, I've already covered in another uh, a short video uh, the use of Blackboard. Uh, please go to the discussion board for those so that we can all be um, uh, clued in at the same time. Instead of me asking me answering the same question 10 times, I'd rather answer it once for everybody in the discussion board. Uh, you must have routine access to the internet. Um, inclement weather. A lot of students at this school are under the impression that the uh, uh, faculty have the right to simply uh, shut down class if they don't like the weather outside. That's not true. Um, only the administration can close the campus, and um, uh, I'm not a member of the administration. I'm faculty. Uh, that said, I may want to, if the if there's a road advisory out in, in the morning, um, uh, if there's a road advisory for class, what I probably will do is to um, uh, uh, maybe start class an hour later and give it give things a chance to clear up, um, or. I may decide if it's really bad uh, that we will conduct class that day, but we'll do it online, just like we uh, um, are doing uh, in this session. So I want to, so be sure to check Blackboard, okay? Blackboard is the way I communicate with all the students at one time. Um, I realize many of you also have a, a, a prefer to use their, your separate email address, but I can't run down everybody's possible Yahoo and Gmail address. So I'm communicating with the entire class in Blackboard. Check it before you come. Last day to withdraw is September 2nd. Last day for a withdrawal. Passing is October 30th. And here is our schedule. As you can see, uh, we have 16 weeks. Uh, we have a number of online quizzes and we have the uh, chapters. And uh, we're out one week for Thanksgiving, in which case we will not meet. Okay, um, I have another short video which I'll talk about the grading system to keep these uh, videos short.